The Greater Buffalo Youth Ballet and the Royal Academy for Ballet and Dance are performing Cinderella at Nichols. And as our Jordan Johnson tells us, for one dancer, this performance proves how you can always come home no matter how far you go. Bethany Kellner is lacing up her ballet shoes to perform once again at her childhood studio. Actually, my first show that I ever did with this studio with Greater Buffalo Youth Ballet, I was a bird in Cinderella. Bethany started her ballet career when she was two. Now she is starring in the lead role of Cinderella for the Greater Buffalo Youth Ballet. Really weird. It feels like a time warp coming back into the same studios that I grew up in. Bethany is currently a professional dancer with the Hudson Ballet Theater, but Buffalo has never left her heart. And meeting students at her old studio takes her back in time. Some of the you know younger students that I've never met before. It's so so cool to see them as the roles that I used to be. Dancers like Elise and Amelia say they wouldn't want to change their passion for anything. Dance is our life. We can't get rid of it. Um, I don't want to get rid of it. And I'm going to be here as long as I can and continue teaching and dancing as long as I can. It takes a lot of dedication to be a ballet dancer. So that's definitely helped me in my, you know, higher education in getting jobs. <laughs> And Greater Buffalo Youth Ballet founder and Royal Academy of Ballet and Dance owner Elizabeth Waddell says having her former students come back is a blessing. They paid me to learn and now I pay them to come back to perform for us. And this performance holds a special message for the students and audience. You know, kids always talk about bullying and this is you know, the story that shows it from the beginning that it doesn't matter what happens to you, you can always succeed in the end and your wishes can really truly come true. Catch the Royal Academy's performance of Cinderella this Saturday at Nichols School. You can find more details on WKBW.com. And 10 more, Jordan Johnson, 7 News.